How to show a pre-order button on your product page on the New Horizon theme without using an app. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can allow your customers to pre-order your products even though you have none left in stock. Watch until the end because I'm going to also show you how you can mark the orders that have a pre-order item inside with a pre-order tag so that you can later on go ahead and filter for the pre-orders and then go ahead and fulfill them. So if you're interested, let me show you how that's done. So what I want to have happen here on the store is that whenever one of these watches goes out of stock, I would like instead of showing the out of stock label like in this case if I go to this version over here I see it sold out and if I go to this one I can add it to cart this one again is sold out so instead of showing sold out I would like to show pre-order so that the customer knows that this is a pre-order for them we can also display a policy here at the bottom explaining that the pre-order items will come later on and we can keep on selling even though we don't have any more items on hand at the moment. So in order to do that, we will have to edit some of the code of the Horizon theme. And I'm going to go to my code editor here on my live theme. If you don't want to work on your live theme, you can make a copy and work on that. I'm going to work on my live theme and I'm going to go to the code editor. I'm going to search for buy buttons and these buttons are actually a block. As you can see, they are in the blocks folder. That means this is a global block that is used also on the collection page and on the product page. So if I go in here and I open this up, we have here the logic for that block and we will have to add a couple of things. Keep in mind that if you want to follow the tutorial where you have the code snippets that you will just have to copy and paste, you're going to have a link in the description. If not, try to follow along with the video. So the first thing we will have to do is to scroll down and down below here we're going to have this logic. This may change if the horizon theme advances, uh, the code might change. So the line number can change, but you can search for this logic and markup. So if inventory quantity zero and inventory policy deny, we're going to have this option over here. Then inside this else here where we have a sign can add to cart equals true. We want to change this line over here. So you're going to select this and you're going to paste the code that you're going to get in the tutorial or you can try and copy this up from here. After adding this in, you're going to go ahead and save. And in the product page, we're going to have the following things. So we have here sold out. We have here add to cart. We have here sold out and we have here translation missing. That means that this product over here would show a pre-order text, but we have to add the translation in. And to do that, I'm going to go back to the code editor and inside the code editor, I'm going to search for locals. And depending on what is your theme's default language, you're going to have here at the bottom the schema for it. For me, it is English default, but if you're using German, whatever you're using, you're going to click the default one for you and you're going to open that up. And inside here, you're going to search for products inside quotation marks. So I'm going to add those in and I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to do it twice because there are more mentions of that. But we have something like this products and then product. And right after this curly brace, we can hit enter and then we're going to paste these two lines in. The first one is meant to show inside the button. This is the button text. And then the other one is the policy that you're going to show underneath if you want. If you're not going to have any policy and what I mean is that you're going to be able to show a text underneath here explaining your pre-sale campaign. Maybe you're going to tell them when the product will come or whatever you want to say in there. If you don't want to have that, you can skip this part. You can just remove the second text here like that and you can save and you're fine. But if you want to have that policy in there, you can just leave it as it is and then you can save. And now if I go to my product page and I refresh the page, I should see here pre-order. So now if I go to this product over here, this is going to be sold out because this is not marked as keep on selling when out of stock, then this one over here is going to be available for purchase because this is available in stock. And this one again is sold out and it doesn't have the option of keep on selling when out of stock. And I'm going to go and I'm going to change this one so that you can see it's going to display a pre-order button once I do that. So I'm going to go to my product page and inside here, I'm going to go to my variants and inside the black variant, I'm going to open that up. 
and I'm gonna scroll down to the option where it says continue selling when out of stock. I'm gonna select that and then I'm going to save. And now if I go back to my product page and I refresh the page, you will have to refresh a couple of times because this is not gonna work right away. If I go to the first one, it says pre-order. If I go to this one, it says sold out. If I go to this one, it says add to cart because this one is available and this one should say pre-order and it does. And this also shows up if you have the add to cart on your collection page. As you can see, this product has the pre-order button inside the collection grid as well. Now let's go and let's add that pre-order policy to explain your pre-order campaign maybe. I'm gonna go back to my code editor and again inside the buy buttons block, I'm gonna scroll down and we're gonna have this pan over here. You want to click on it and then you want to scroll and find the end because this is the span that encapsulates the add to cart button or the pre-order button in this case. So I'm gonna scroll down and whenever you find the end of the span, you're gonna hit enter and then you're gonna add this snippet of code and you're going to save. Now we are going to display that policy on the product page and on the collection page. So if I refresh the page, now I have this text underneath here. And this can say whatever you want and it is also accessible from the theme customizers. If you go to your theme and you click on these three buttons in here, you can go ahead and edit the full theme content. And in here, you're gonna click on the search icon right here and you're gonna say, pre underscore sale. You're gonna have these two entries that we just added and you can edit the text in here. You don't have to touch the code anymore once you have this added in. Now, as you can see, the text is featured here, is featured on the collection page and is featured on the product page. And that is good, but if you don't want to have this text showing everywhere, like maybe you don't want to have it on your collection grid, we can go ahead and we can edit it a little bit. I'm gonna go back to my code editor inside the buy buttons and in here, I want to add a new rule. So in this existing rule that we have here, if pre-order equals true, I'm going to add a space and I'm going to enter this. So if pre-order equals true and template contains product, that means if we are on a product page as well, then display this. And this will ensure that we only display this policy text on the product page. I'm gonna save that. And once that's done, the policy has disappeared from the collection grid. And if I go to the product page, I'm gonna have it right here. So now this policy text will only show on the product page, not on the collection grid or on the home page, where I also have this product grid. Okay, so now if someone sees this pre-order button and they agree with the policy that I have underneath, they may want to pre-order the product. So they will add it to the cart and they will order it, they will pay it normally, they will check out and the process would be a standard process. They would not even notice that this is a pre-order. If you want, you can go ahead and add some logic inside the email notifications so that if you have a order that contains pre-order items to display this pre-order policy in the email notification as well. But next, I wanna show you how you can mark the orders that contain a pre-order item inside of them with a tag so that you can later on go ahead and filter the orders to find all the pre-orders and then fulfill them. So I'm gonna show you how you can do that with a free app that Shopify gives us, Shopify Flow. So normally if I go now and I create one order here, I'm going to create it manually. So I'm gonna search for a product. I'm gonna say someone bought this product over here and I'm gonna just mark it as paid. I got paid for this product and I'm gonna create order. The order would look like this, so it's an absolutely normal order. I would not know that the person who bought this item actually pre-ordered it. So what I would want to have happen is that whenever an order is created, I would want it to have a pre-order tag if there is a pre-order item inside of it. So in this case, we don't have a pre-order item inside, but if we would have had a pre-order item inside, I would want to have a tag in here saying pre-order so that whenever I go in my orders, I can then go ahead and filter and add a tag filter so that I can only see 
my orders that contain a pre-order item. And to do that, you're gonna have to go ahead and install Shopify Flow. I already have it here, but if you want to go and install it, it's free of charge. You're just gonna have to add it to your store and then you're gonna have to follow along. Once inside the Shopify Flow app, you're gonna create a new flow and you are going to select a trigger. And the trigger for us is the order. So I'm going to select trigger and I'm going to select from Shopify over here and I'm going to look for order. You can even go ahead and search. So I'm gonna search here at the top order because there are a lot of them. So order created. This is our trigger. Whenever an order is created, we are going to trigger this action. And then I'm gonna click on this then over here and I'm going to select action. And inside this action, I'm gonna click on flow and I'm gonna look for, for each loop. So I'm gonna select this one over here and I'm going to select the variable for this for each loop and I'm going to click on this items here and I'm going to select order. And inside the order, I'm going to look for line items. So line items, we have them over here. I'm gonna select them. Now this for loop will check the line items inside the order for certain things. And we want to go ahead and add what to check for in repeat for each item. I'm going to click on repeat on each item and I'm going to add a condition because I want to check if. So I'm going to click on add a variable here and then I'm going to select this option and I'm going to look for variant and I'm going to select that. In this new list, I'm going to look for inventory quantity and this inventory quantity should be less than or equal to zero. This is our first rule. So if a product has zero inventory or less, and then we can add another criteria and, and we're going to select again line items and we're going to go and find the variant and inside the variant we're gonna look for inventory policy and we have it here and the inventory policy should be continue that means that the product has selected continue selling when out of stock and when these two rules are met we want to go and click on then and we want to add an action and the action will be inside shopify here we want to select add order tags so add order tags and we want to select the tag that we want to add. And in my case, I'm going to add the pre-order tag. So pre-order. And I'm going to turn on this workflow. You will actually have to add the tag, not just add the text in there. You're going to have to click on this button over here so that the tag will be added at the bottom. And when that's done, you're just going to click on turn on workflow and then turn on. And now whenever an order comes in that has a product that is a pre-order, then this tag will be added to the order as well. And let me test that. So I'm going to go back to my store inside orders and I'm going to create another order. I'm going to add one of those products. So I'm going to browse and find the product that I want to add, which is this one over here. And I'm going to add that. Then I'm going to mark it as paid and create order. And I'm gonna see that the order that was just created has this tag over here. This doesn't happen instantly. So whenever an order is placed, the tag will be added in a couple of seconds after the order was created. This is how it works. So now all the orders that will have one of those pre-order items inside will have this tag added and you will be able to go ahead and filter your orders for this tag. And this tag can be whatever you want. So let's create another order that doesn't have a pre-order product. So I'm gonna browse again and I'm gonna select this product over here. I'm gonna add it. I'm gonna mark it as paid and then I'm going to create order. And we're gonna wait just a tiny bit to see if the tag gets added to this. It shouldn't, but let's check. So. Right now, it doesn't have the tag. If I refresh the page and it doesn't have the tag, if I go now and I create another order and I'm gonna add another product and I'm gonna add again the product that has the pre-order on it. So I'm gonna go to this one and I'm gonna add it. I'm going to mark it as paid and I'm going to create order. Now, if I go here and I wait just a second, so it's this order over here. If I refresh the page in just a second, I'm gonna get the pre-order tag there because the flow has to run after the order was created. 
So right now we have the tag added in there. Okay, now that you know how to display a pre-order button on your product page on the Horizon theme, I think you'll be interested in this video next. Click it and I'll see you there.